Here's an interesting case. Uh, you're not likely to see too many gross specimens like this. This is an esophagus and this is a stomach but it's turned inside out. So what you're actually seeing here is the mucosa of the esophagus and the mucosa of the stomach. Notice the stomach has this red mucousy type of mucosa and notice that the mucosa of the esophagus has these large veins very squiggly, some bulging, some bulging quite a bit over here as well. This one could very easily have been a bulging vein which ruptured. And why would they rupture? Well, here is the same vein in the esophagus. You can see the smooth muscle of the esophagus here. This was the lower part of the esophagus, so you're not likely to see much by way of skeletal muscle. And you can see that these very, very large mucosal and submucosal veins extend very close to the surface. And in this area here, it's also possible that there is uh, an early thrombosis as well because it looks like there are some inflammatory cells here trapped up in fibrin. But for the most part, it is non-thrombosed. But these are very, very large dilated veins and uh, they extend to within perhaps uh, microns or fractions of a millimeter from the lumen. This is a very dangerous situation. Rupture of this large distended mucosal vein could very easily lead to quick death. And the reason why these veins are enlarged is because this person has cirrhosis. And with cirrhosis, there is portal hypertension. And there are certain areas in the body, like in the abdomen, like in the uh, uh, pectinate region, and in the esophagus where the portal circulation uh, an, has a anastomosis with the caval circulation. And uh, because of the portal hypertension, these uh, systemic veins here uh, are very much dilated. And of course, this is one of the possibly one of the most common causes of sudden death with cirrhosis uh, is rupture of these large dilated uh, varices uh, in the esophagus. Thank you very much.